Alright guys, so here I've got two external hard drives from Western Digital. And these are from their MyBook series. The one on the left is 8 terabytes and the one on the right is 12 terabytes. And you might think that the hard drive inside these are identical except from the capacity. But in reality, both of them have hard drives that are technologically very different from each other. The interesting thing here is that the 12 terabyte variant comes with a helium filled hard drive. Meanwhile, the 8 terabyte version is rocking a regular air filled drive. And both of these spin at 7200 RPM and are pretty awesome high performance hard drives. Now because one of these are helium filled, I want to check two important things. Number one, noise and vibration levels and number two, the temperatures. Because the thing is, technically the helium filled drive should run cooler and quieter compared to its air filled counterpart even though both spin at 7200 RPM. So this is gonna be a very interesting comparison and we are going to check them both while they are inside their enclosure and then shucked inside the PC. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so I've got both of the drives plugged in and they have been plugged in for about an hour with the sleep timer disabled, so they should be nice and warm. But anyways, let's fire up Crystal Disk Info and check the model and the idle temperatures. Okay, so the 8 terabyte MyBook has the WD80 EDBZ 11 B0 ZA0. It's an air filled 7200 RPM CMR drive, but as you can see, it runs quite hot. I mean, 50 degrees Celsius just sitting idle doing absolutely nothing is a bit too warm. And this is with the ambient being around 26 degrees Celsius. I think the part of the problem is that these enclosures do not have any active cooling. So if you put a 7200 RPM high performance drive inside these, they are going to run hot. Anyways, moving on to the 12TB MyBook, this one has the WD120 EDBZ 11 B1 HA0. This one is a helium filled 7200 RPM CMR drive. And this helium filled drive idles at a lower temperature at just 43 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, our air filled drive is at 50 degrees. That is a difference of 7 degrees between the two. So the helium filled drive definitely runs at a lower temperature. And take a look at the 16th attribute. Crystal disk mark shows the level of helium inside the drive. So this is indeed a helium filled drive. So now I'm gonna dump over about 175 gigabyte worth of files on both of these and see the difference in temperatures. This should give us a rough idea of what kind of temperatures to expect when the hard drive is in use. And our source drive is an SSD, so read speed should not be an issue here. And it looks like on average, we are getting about 180 to 190 megabytes per second worth of write speed on both of these. And we are done. So let's fire up Crystal Disk Info once again and let's check the temperatures. Okay, so the helium filled 12 terabyte drive is at about 45 degrees Celsius, which is perfectly fine. It's running nice and cool. Meanwhile, our air filled 8 terabyte drive is at 53 degrees Celsius, which is a difference of about 8 degrees between the two. That is crazy. And 53 degrees is within spec, these air filled drives run perfectly fine even at 60 degrees. But yeah, this proves one thing, the helium filled drives definitely run at a lower temperature. Now let's test out the noise levels. This is the 8 terabyte air filled drive. It's a little bit noisy but not too bad. This is how it sounds like when the disk is being accessed. It does sound louder in the video but in real life it is very quiet. Okay so now comes the helium filled drive. Oh my goodness, can you hear the difference? This thing is absolutely dead silent when it is running. So here's a comparison. So 
So there you go, it's impressive how silent this thing really is. Even if you come close, there is barely any noise coming from the hard drive. It is completely silent. Impressive, right? The same thing can be observed while transferring files. The helium filled drive is quieter. I can't hear any noise coming from the drive, just occasional clicks from the head, and even those are very very faint. So there you go, the helium filled drive runs cooler and quieter compared to its air filled counterpart. Now let's take the drives out of their enclosure and install them in the PC. And by the way, I have a tutorial on how to do this, I will add a card in the video right over here. Also, these hard drives do not require any 3.3 volt mod, so I'm not gonna cover any of the contacts on the SATA power connector on the drive. I'm just gonna plug this in as it is in the computer. And same goes for the 8 terabyte drive. Absolutely no need of covering any pins on the SATA power connector. Okay, so the 12 terabyte helium filled drive is on the top and the 8TB air filled drive is at the bottom and both of these will be actively cooled by this fan so this fan will blow air directly over both of these so yeah let's see what the temperatures are like when they are actively cooled so let me just install these and um, yeah I'll get back to you guys Alright, so both of the hard drives have been installed in the PC and it's up and running. As you can see, this is our 12TB uh, drive and it now shows serial ATA, no more USB. And this is our 8TB air filled drive. And yeah, there is absolutely no hard drive noise coming from the PC. Everything is extremely silent. So I'll just keep quiet for a moment so you can hear. So yes, once the hard drives are inside the case, the noise just goes away. Even the 8TB drive is now completely silent. Uh, if you are wondering, the hard drives are down there and that fan, the bottom fan, is blowing air directly over the hard drives. So, now that the hard drives have active cooling, they should run cooler than they would have inside their original enclosure. So let's test that out. I'm gonna leave the PC idle for about an hour and we will come back and check the temperatures and compare it with the original readings inside the case. Alright, so after leaving the PC idle for about an hour with the sleep timer disabled, the air filled 8TB drive was at 43 degrees Celsius and the helium filled drive was at 39 degrees. And this is with the same ambient temperature of 26 degrees. So this clearly shows you that active cooling makes these drives run a lot cooler which will most likely also make them last a lot longer than they would have inside their original OEM cases. Alright so once again I copied over the exact same set of files on both of the drives and this did not do anything. It only brought the temperatures up by 1 degrees on the air filled drive and about 2 degrees on the helium filled drive. I guess having active cooling does make a huge difference. So next, I dumped about 300 gigabyte worth of files on both of these and this did increase the temperatures a little bit but not by a whole lot. As you can see, the air filled drive is now at 47 degrees and the helium filled drive is running a lot cooler at just 43 degrees Celsius. So once again, the helium filled drive runs a lot cooler compared to the air filled drive. Not by a whole lot, just 4 degrees, but the bottom line is, it runs cooler and quieter. Alright, so the conclusion we can draw from this video is that the helium filled drive runs cooler and quieter compared to its air filled counterpart. So if you are in the market looking to buy one of these WD MyBooks, do not buy the 8TB version. Instead, spend a little extra and get the 12TB version because it's got a helium filled drive that's gonna run cooler and quieter compared to the 8TB version which comes with an air filled drive. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer them. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.